What's up guys, back for another Star Wars video. Hopefully this sounds okay. Um, when I was going to record this video, it turns out my voice was like mad, mad quiet. Uh, so this might be a bit louder than what you used to. I do apologize if I ended up, uh, you know, blasting anyone's eardrums. Uh, but I wanted to make sure obviously my voice is heard. And I did notice that in older videos, my voice sounds staticky, which is alarming because I've never noticed that before I post video and then I'll watch it for a few seconds. So. I don't know, maybe maybe with my headphones, let me know in the comments if you've experienced it where my voice just doesn't sound too great. Um, I kind of have the mic in a weird position. My hand is like literally in the like mic, like arm thing. And it's like, like I could like stick my tongue out and lick it how close I am. So it sounds better, uh, but it's definitely not ideal. And I couldn't get it to sound anywhere near as good as I would feel comfortable with posting a video with when it was in its normal position. So who new PC issues, you know, I totally, totally have enough money to buy a new mic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk about funny enough what this event it was kind of not aiming for but brought to light again i know everyone's doing joe q videos i ended up doing a multi uh, i did a poll and y'all said something for him did a multi didn't get him i'll do a single in this video for, for funny i uh, yeah, didn't get anything i think i'm at like 15 pity now so it's like whatever but um yeah so <laughs> that's not happening and i really don't want to summon i might have to make a video on why i think people are overhyping him a little too much that people are going to get the wrong idea about him but regardless let's jump in to the point of today's video and that is buffing older characters now with this event i feel like it is the perfect example and it has a good visual display of what this could look like so in, th in this event your physical mc is the magician that summons the trash can which by the way please for the love of fucking christ please drop the trash can act it's so long i'm tired of seeing these damn people like uh, please the trash can people are so annoying man i don't know let me know in the comments as well if you if you like them or not but i feel like it's just overdone bro like oh my gosh the trash cans are actually people they're like super buff and they like hit you really hard and the mc loves trash cans oh my gosh it's like okay cool we have like five million events about them bro i start to lose interest you know uh but regardless back to the back to the video uh you do a basic attack it does obviously we're gonna have to uh, lower some of these numbers because they hit pretty damn hard but every time you skill you get another one and they hit harder and harder what we could get is a buff to these characters i'm gonna turn this down a little bit because i don't want it to be too loud um because that was a issue last time with a uh, funny uh hanky star so if you can't hear it anymore eh, bear with me on this video it is what it is uh but maybe they don't have to do the basic attack but if they had a follow-up attack right that it gets stronger every time you skill with the mc i mean that sounds like a pretty good buff to me you know they could buff his damage they could change the blast instead of uh deals physical damage it could uh you know maybe you know buff his attack or maybe it lowers the enemy's defense or makes him more susceptible to a follow-up attack whatever it may be right it could be a good implication and i think it'd be good for the future of the game because a lot of games have a sort of a i'm gonna say easy a because i'm about to bring up dokkan dokkan has easy a's uh legends has zenkai's i know nikkei i'm trying to list like the super popular gotchas nikkei has a like weapon thing if i'm not mistaken where you can um forgot how you do it it's like it's a it's a task i don't play that much really um or at all anymore so i'm not too knowledgeable on that one if by the way if there are a similar system in Honkai third let me know in the comments i also didn't play that one but yeah nikkei has a system like this dokkan has Do uh zenkai's or not, sorry zenkai's <laughs> easy a's i just has zenkai's um 770 since grand cross which is more of a not as widely known gotcha at least i don't think it is has holy relics which is like Pretty much think of it like a light cone esque kind of thing, uh, but there'd be like a second light cone you can equip. That's like the best thing I can describe it. Uh, that buffs certain characters. I'm sure there's other gacha games will have 
buffs for older characters in some form. Um, I know Genshin doesn't do that, unfortunately, but I think Starro could benefit from it a lot. I think it'd be super cool. Uh, other gacha games do it, so I don't see why Starro doing it would be a bad thing. Plus, I mean, I'm not sure a lot of people would not be too opposed. Well, mm, let me take that back. I'm sure a lot of people would be opposed if Arlen started hitting harder than good old Akron. But I feel like a lot of people would hopefully be okay with that. But like it's a free character. They hit really hard. Maybe not Akron's level. But if we ended up getting a buff for the physical MC and they started hitting like as hard as Ratio did, I'd be okay with that. Not the biggest buff, but makes them more usable because in, in all, like... Uh, reality, I guess I'll say that. If you are doing a new MOC or a new event and you want to beat it, obviously people mess around on their second, first, or sorry, not first, their second, third, fourth run, right? But on the first one, you just want to beat it. No, I'm not bringing Arlen. I'm not going to go, hmm, new MOC. It's going to be really hard. Let me bring Arlen and Cook, right? I'm going to go, okay, let me bring like Acheron. Firefly, Boot Hill, you know, Ratio and the follow attack team, um, you know, all those like super good DPSs. I'm bringing them, right? I'm not bringing no physical MC, Yanqing, Arlen, hell, even units like Blade are starting to just not get any use. People are like, yeah, Blade sucks ass, you know? And a lot of players who don't have as invested accounts who can just get away with like the hyper carry like oh i beat moc with arlen because i super buffed him into oblivion it's like you know that's fair you know it's not really the dps doing that but you can still get away with using that unit um you know i want to be able to bring pela or some of the more non-premium units and just go absolutely crazy with like the physical mc or yanshink right i want them to be as good as other characters i know people will be like oh well just summon for the other character it's like well that doesn't always have to be the case and while the mc right is getting used because there's other forms the other forms kind of get left in the dust and other characters aren't going to be as lucky like do you really think they're going to give us a new form of like hook that's going to be free that's going to be like top tier like look me in the eyes and tell me if unless you're a hook fan that you have ever used hook just because you know you could and you thought okay hook will really help me with this imagine if they gave a easy a quote unquote to hook and she was like a mini firefly right it doesn't validate firefly because she'd be better but it would give you a better option now there are units like that like when Ifin is being compared to jerk right now as being like a sort of budget version of him some people are saying that she you know she's better than him which i don't know about all that but they're saying he's like a like a budget like this would be a good example if you don't want to go too crazy maybe make like budget firefly uh don hang could be budget um for lack of a win dps we'll just say blade obviously they would probably work a bit different but you get the gist right um something like that i think would be really cool for the game let me know if you guys would want something like that in the, the future for sorrow let me know if you think it'd be stupid you just want to summon on the new characters you don't care about the past characters they you know they've had their time let me know and of course don't forget to like subscribe hopefully this video sounded good um i I said before though for uh the jack cube videos i don't think they're happening i'm not going to summon so we might have to do a different kind of video for the initial like you know is he good enough otherwise it's pretty much just going to be me talking about him on this screen i don't think y'all want that but anyways that's it for the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching